complete appropriate hand hygiene and infection control procedures before starting. You will need the following equipment to make a total contact cast. Heat gun, orthotic scissors, plaster scissors, soft band padding, low density EVA, rigid sports tape, semi-rigid cast tape, water bowl, spray bottle, and a stockinette. Make sure the workspace is clean, well laid out and ready for appropriate treatment flow. Explain the process you'll be carrying out to the person and how a total contact cast shoe will help them. Encourage the person to ask any questions. Place the soft band or cotton wool between toes. Apply a single layer of stockinette. If you do not have access to a sewing machine, twist and overlap the stockinette. Apply padding to the toes with 5 to 6 layers of soft band. Hold the padding in place with one layer of soft band around the heel. Apply the second stockinette. On the EVA, trace around the foot, leaving enough room for the toes. Cut out the EVA and bevel or smooth the edges. Using the heat gun, heat EVA until it is easy to mould. Make sure the EVA is ready to mould and not too hot. Mould the EVA to the bottom of the foot. Using paper tape, secure the EVA to the bottom of the foot. Apply the semi-rigid cast tape. Ensure adequate layers around the heel, toes and undersole. Area on top of the foot where it is to be cut should not be thick. Spray or wet hands and rub over the cast. Mark trim lines under the malleoli and low enough at the front and back of the ankle so the foot can dorsi and plantar flex. Cut a slit down the top of the foot, lateral to the midline, just before the level of the metatarsal heads. Cut through the top layer of the stockinette to make removal easier. Remove the shoe, being careful not to put pressure on the wound or ulcer.
Remove all stockinette and soft band. Check trim lines and inside of shoe for any sharp edges, bumps or ridges. Remove problem area or cover with tape if adequate. Teach the client how to fit and remove the shoe safely. Place soft band or cotton wool between toes. Apply a double layer of stockinette, avoiding wrinkles. The twist in the stockinette should be placed on top of the toes, away from any wounds. Clients should be taught this process and observed to ensure they are able to do it. Fit the shoe. Observe them doing this process to ensure they are capable. The shoe should be taped together with sports tape until permanent Velcro strap can be added. Fit a canvas rocker or darko post-op shoe. Review the client walking in the shoe. Consider using EVA wedges in the shoe to optimize gait or walking pattern. Watch the person walking 20 to 30 meters and ensure they are stable and comfortable. Use a corridor or open space to allow proper observation. Watch to ensure no slipping of the device. Ask the person if they have any questions and offer to help provide further support. Book a follow-up appointment and provide an appointment card to the person. If the person notices any concerns or problems, advise them to return urgently for an appointment.